This video will demonstrate how to set the dip switches on an ACU6 and ACU7 mainboard, as well as the correct settings for each model of ATM. The dip switches control the video resolution, as well as the output port on the board, which drives the display. In this example the, of, of an Onyx screen, you can see everything is shoved over to the left because the dip switches are not in the correct position. This can also result in a black screen or nothing on the screen because it's set for the wrong output port. Whenever you're moving a mainboard from one machine to another, it's important to make sure that these settings are correct. Or if you've purchased a new mainboard and you're going to be installing it in a machine, compare the switch settings with the machine that or the board that's in there and make sure that it matches. Otherwise, when you put the new board in, uh, it may not fire up. Also, if you can see the screen or and you can, and you can uh, get into the menus, verify that you have the correct software because that also affects the resolution of the screen. In this case, it says G3000, which is appropriate for an Onyx. But if I was to have 2500 software loaded, it would also skew the screen because it's not the same resolution. Let's go look at the switches. Here I've removed the cover from an ACU6 mainboard. The video switches or dip switches are located here in the upper right corner of the board next to these two USB ports. One of the things that the switches control is which output will be used on the motherboard. With an ACU6 mainboard, you have this video output here, which is used for machines like an Onyx or a GT5000. And then you have this other video connector down here, which normally there would be a ribbon cable plugged in and you'd use for a G2500 or a 1700W or a lot of the other different models. So in addition to changing the resolution, these switches are also changing which output port the board is gonna use. The dip switches on the ACU6 board are fairly small and can be difficult to see. The dip switches on the ACU7 mainboard are much larger and much easier to adjust. Here, switch number one is in the wrong position for this mainboard. Sometimes when you look at these switches, they'll be covered by a piece of yellow or uh, gold colored cellophane. You can uh, leave that intact or you can remove it. It doesn't really matter. Or you can just kind of poke through it with uh, your screwdriver. I'm using a fine tip screwdriver here. And what I'm going to do to move the switches is just uh, here, switch number one is up and two, three, and four are down, uh, which is wrong for this model. And I'm going to push switch one back down, and then I'm going to lift switch three up, which is correct for an Onyx. Once you've moved the switches, you need to reboot the machine to see it take effect. And now that the switches are set correctly, the display resolution is correct and the screen looks the way that it's supposed to. We'll display the proper switch settings for each uh, model machine. Just remember these are for ACU6 and ACU7 mainboards only. ACU3 and ACU5 also have switches, but they use a different configuration. If you have any questions, please contact Jim Mega Support.